Joey Tampkin. I'm with Photos.com, and we're gonna chat about how to put up a gallery wall really anywhere you want, in your home, in your office, any wall. So I have some examples of gallery walls that we've done with Photos.com, and I'll kind of walk you through the challenges that we were going through and kind of how we solved them. You could reinvent the space and go to Photos.com where we have curated galleries. You want to lay out all of your options. It's a little bit like dating because you have to live with it. Not forever, but like for a little while. So you really want to know your options. Like you want to spend some time with it. and You just don't want to overthink the theme. Like it can really get in your head and cause you to hang up. After you know all your options, you want to kind of look through and say, okay, what doesn't fit here? Like what doesn't feel right? What are you looking at? What's just like, eh, yeah, I don't know if I really want to put that on the wall. I like to pick a focal point. It gives me a starting point. Like when people come into my space, what do I want them to see? And when I come home from a bad day at work or I wake up in the morning, what do I want to look at? You really want to have a lot of butcher paper. And then the other stuff is obvious, like the nails, measuring tape, hardware, stuff you're gonna put on the wall. And you need a lot of space. You need to make sure that move all your stuff, have at least two to three hours that you can play. And you need to know the size of your space. Measuring is huge. So when you lay out the butcher paper, you wanna trace each image so that you have the exact size of the image. And you can either put the entire butcher paper piece on the wall and actually put the nails in the butcher paper, or this is how I do it. This is my favorite. I like to visualize how it's gonna look before I start putting holes in my wall. So you tape up your pieces of paper there. And it's really important to label them. I can't tell you how many people will do this and they didn't like write down what image was what. Back to some more hanging tips. Really where you wanna put the wire is measuring from the wire up to the very, very top of the frame. And then you'll subtract this small amount from the entire middle. At first spacing, I like to say, if you're doing a very, very symmetrical wall, four inches apart, and you can either do two inches, four inches, or six inches high, depending how many different rows you're gonna have and how big the pieces are. My number one tip to walk away from here is double up on your nails. So when you know where to put the nail in the wall where the hook goes, go about an inch and a half on either side of the nail, and that's where you wanna put two hooks. Because when you hang the art, one, it'll be more stable, but it'll also level it out. Thank you all for coming.